Hello! Time for another video! And this time I will show you Home Assistant iRobot Roomba integration. What this integration does is to let you control your iRobot completely from Home Assistant using cards and automations. I have my hands on the entry level of iRobot Roomba vacuum cleaner. And this is a robot from the 600 series. But the steps I'm about to provide should work on any Wi-Fi enabled Roomba or Brava vacuum cleaners available. There is a native local push Home Assistant iRobot integration that I'm going to use. But to set this up, I will need a BLID that is kind of a username and a password that we first have to retrieve. There are several not very hard methods to retrieve these credentials. For example, using Python or NPM. But I'll go with probably the easiest one, namely to use the embedded wizard that Home Assistant iRobot integration provides. Before we continue further, make sure that your iRobot vacuum cleaner is added in the iRobot Home mobile app. And you can control it from there. The whole process is like vanilla ice cream. Plain and simple. So I will not go into details there. Instead, I will jump to the adding of the iRobot integration in Home Assistant. I will go to Configuration, Devices and Services. And then I'll hit on Add Integration button. In the search field, I'll search for iRobot. Here it is. Please wait while iRobot Roomba and Bravo is being set up. Home Assistant will try to automatically find your iRobot in your Wi-Fi. This took a while and it didn't find it. So I have to manually type the IP address of the iRobot. For that I'll open my router interface. I'll go to my client and I'll search for Roomba. Here it is. This is the IP of my iRobot Roomba vacuum cleaner and I'll paste it here. Then I'll click on submit. Press and hold the home button on Roomba until the device generates a sound. About 2 seconds. Then submit within 30 seconds. Ok, I'm going to do that. But in my case I have to press the stop and home button at the same time for 2 seconds. Ok, I heard the sound and I'll click submit. Success! That was very very easy. Finish. Where is my iRobot integration? Here it is. I have one device and three entities. Let's see what I have. This is my model. This is the battery. If I click on it, I can see three main things here. The first one is the current state of my Roomba. It is docked. And I can add this to my Lovelace. Ok, the next one is the sensor. Bin full is off. I guess that means that the bin is not full. I'll also add this to my Lovelace. Let's see what I have here. Here it is. If I click on this card, I can start cleaning, I can pause, I can stop, I can locate my Roomba if it get lost somewhere and I can return home. Before we see a demo of the Home Assistant iRobot integration, I want to make a quick note. If you enjoy this Home Assistant iRobot integration and it works fine for you, I recommend to avoid future over the air firmware updates or to block them completely using the parental control options on your router for example. New firmware updates can have a negative effect on the integration and in all honesty it is worth your time to read a little bit before you actually update. With that being said it is time to see the Home Assistant iRobot integration in action. Let's try. Ok. Return home. Yes, it is now returned to home. Let's see what Locate is doing. 
nice it plays some sounds so you can find your Roomba and it seems that is working I also have a history here and if I click on this Roomba bean full probably I have to fill this bean somehow and this sensor will change to on so I will know when I have to empty the tray which is nice and it seems very useful. Let's make a quick Home Assistant iRobot automation. If I click on this Roomba card again and then on the cockwheel button, device Roomba, I can add an automation by clicking on this plus button. I have several templates here, but I want this one, the last one. When something is triggered, let Roomba clean. I'll click on it. For the name, I'll type iRobot clean after I leave. The trigger will be state. The entity will be my username, person Kirill. When the state of person Kirill becomes not home, that means I'm not at home anymore and I can add condition. The condition will be of type time, for example, after 11 o'clock until 23.59.59 and for example, I want Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, I'll have to disable Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. The action is already predefined. Device Roomba, let Roomba clean. And this is my whole automation. I can freely click save. And if I now go to developer tools to simulate my absence, I can go to set state. For the entity, I'll search for person Kirill and I'll change the state to not home to trigger the automation set state. You can hear the iRobot. I return it to dock station and the automation is working great. If you want to further complicate this iRobot integration, it is possible to add several custom components and at the end to have this beautiful card with info about maintenance periods and even selective room cleaning. I will leave a link with these instructions in the video description if you want to try them out. Also there you can find an Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy the same iRobot vacuum cleaner or you just want to check the current price in Amazon. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord server and remember, home smart but not hard. I'm Kiryu and I'm done speaking. Bye!